I've been following along with the OXC ecosystem for quite a while now because I'm really excited what they do. First of all, it's being developed by a bunch of folks around the Veed ecosystem, which I really look up to. Like they deliver amazing tools for developers, most in open source space that you can use. And then clearly this falls into what NX is interested in as well. Like we already announced it a bunch of times, we rewrote a large piece of our core to Rust and we're still working on that as well. It's kind of like an ongoing thing. And the main reason is we want to make the overhead that NX adds to your project as little as possible. Because ultimately we want to speed up whatever you're running so we don't want to introduce anything there. And Rust seems to be a really good fit there. And so what the oxidation compiler part package or project here does is they take a bunch of projects that are already in the ecosystem like linting and they rewrite it to rust to make it extremely faster and clearly when it comes to speed gains we're all ears here at nx now people in the nx community have been asking for this for a long time uh, but we have a ton of stuff to be done uh, so as this product started developing we already got like some issues and discussions open on our repo that people would like to look into this Actually, Gregory here from our team mentioned this would be a really nice fit for a community plugin. And look there, scrolling a bit further down, Julian jumped in and said like, hey, I just released an NX plugin where you can use OXC Lint for linting in NX projects. So I wanted to give that a super quick look and see how it works. So the project is here on this repo. Uh, it's actually, he basically pushed it out two months ago. Uh, we just linked it all on our NX community plugins page. If you go to nx.dev slash docs and you scroll down a bit, you will see here in the references, there's a plugin registry. And if you go in here, you see the NX packages that we provide, but you also see community package if you go further down that you can use within your NX workspace. And so if you plan to develop a plugin for NX, definitely go and submit it. If you go to extending NX on our uh, documentation, you will find here a part about publish your NX plugin. And here basically it gives you instructions of how you can submit it to our repository so that we can then verify it and then like it will be linked on our website. But back to the OX Lint plugin. So how do I add that to my project? So basically he implemented here an init generator that allows you to just use that NX add command and just add it into your NX project. That's exactly what I'm going to do. So here I have my standard setup project, kind of like a shop application with a bunch of libraries here and here. I don't have linting right now here. So that makes it a little bit easier. So I don't have to do any migration steps. So what I do is just like run NX at NX OX lint. And you can see it's going to download the latest version and install this into my project. And so if you look at the changed files here, it obviously updated the packages, but it also added here a new section to NX JSON to register the plugin. So if you go a bit down, you can see here it adds here the NX OX Lint plugin, which is basically an inference plugin, meaning now with this one, it will parse all of our projects and will add lint, a Lint command to all of our projects, which previously I didn't have. So following the instructions, we should go also create a new OX Lint RC JSON file. And in that way, it, uh, OXC Linting will take the default linting rules that it comes with. Now you could just like have here an empty one, it would go with the defaults, but let me just add a bunch just for fun. So we added no alert and a bunch of other ones. Cool. Now, first of all, if we now go for instance to one of our products, let's say we go in here, let's go to current orders. Let's go in here. Let me see what I have here. Then if you go to the package JSON, you will see we don't have any script registered here. Now, if you have any console installed, you can go in here and you will see there is this lint target that is registered, which is exactly being added by this new NX community plugin here because it automatically detects the projects and then adds linting to them. Now you can also show these by just running, this just as a side note, and if you know, you can already skip immediately. Uh, and if I say show project feed current orders, it is opening up here the menu of all the different targets that are being supported by this feed current orders. And you see here the linting one. And if you open it up, just to make sure that this card is hooked up with OX lint, you can see here, this is the task that is being run. So we correctly hooked this up, it seems to work. So let's just run linting on all the diff all the projects that we have. So I just use run many, there's T lint. So let's see how fast this is. Because it skips through all the different projects. This was not cached, so it's pretty amazing. Like two seconds goes through all the different source files. Again, like this is not a super large project, but it actually has a substantial amount of like libraries in here. Now, what if we create some error just to make sure this actually works? 
Let me actually add some stupid alert in here, which no one would actually do, but like just for the sake of running here linting. So if I run again, you can see here this one failed. Uh, and if we look at it, we can see we get error message that this alert shouldn't be in here and is not um, allowed by a linting rule. And obviously, like if we would rerun this one here, it can benefit from the NX caching just like as any other command. And so now you see basically it's super fast uh, to execute on all of these products. Now, again, this wouldn't necessarily require an NX plugin. The benefit of the beauty of having an NX plugin is obviously, as you have seen, by adding just like this single block here of registering the plugin, it automatically looks at all of your projects and adds the linting target on the project where appropriate. And that depends really on how this plugin is defined. You could just add it to whenever it detects a, a, a specific configuration file, or in this case, you could just like add it to all projects in your repository. Now, if you don't have a plugin or if you don't want to use a plugin, you could just go ahead and just like register this manually, right? Like as you would use OX linting in any other type of JavaScript setup, you would just like use some script tags in here and NX would pick them up as well. So I would go and check out this NX OS, OX lint package. It's open source. Reach out to the author, help contribute with feedback or even the changes that you would like to make. For instance, one thing that immediately comes to my mind is like creating this OX lint RC JSON file. So if I run NX add of the, of the plugin, it would be neat if this file is not present yet just to be have it created automatically. In that way, basically I can then prefill it, uh, but at least like the whole setup would immediately start working. Now this is in version 0.0.3, .0 so I'm pretty sure Julian would be super happy from feedback from the community as well. So looking at the discussion here on GitHub, uh, there have been also a couple of voices asking whether there would be some NX maintained plugins from, for these packages, like for instance, linting and formatting, which NX already provides, but more deeply integrates. Let's say that the module boundary rules, for instance, can be used with the OX linting instead of like the ESLint that is the case right now. Now, if you're interested in that, definitely drop a comment on this video that helps obviously like also show like audit on our end to see how much interest there is in these types of packages. I can just like say, I'm super excited about these. I closely follow along and so does the team. We are actually going to look into this probably throughout uh, like towards the end of the year, doing some POCs and see like what that would mean in terms of support on our end. Uh, but we have a lot of other cool stuff right now in the pipeline that we want to definitely push out first. That said, go check out Julian's package here, the NXOX Lint. Try that out because we closely have an eye on this one and see how much people actually provide feedback, how much, how much people like it, where are some rough edges, uh, and then we can potentially help out um, evolve this plugin or even move it into the uh, NX team maintained ones. As always, subscribe to this channel because that's where you would actually get noticed when we ship the OXC packages. So like the video, subscribe, that helps us kind of get feedback. And as always, I see you in the next one. Peace.